Look at you, beautiful. You're the king. So they're all excited. I cooked them the duck eggs and greens. Is everyone hungry? Look at, they're all around me. Here's one of my roosters right here. There's another rooster, naked neck. What else do we have? Oh. Are you a rooster? Um, I don't think so. Nope, you're not a rooster. Where's all my roosters? Oh, here is a rooster. Here's little Nugget Jr. He's a frizzle. He's funny. All right, guys, come over here. Oh, there's Kiki, the big rooster. He protects the flock. Look at you, beautiful. You're the king. So they're all excited. I cooked them the duck eggs and greens. Now the ducks don't eat the, their own eggs, but they do love greens. I give them. We have wonton and sake, gypsy, and back there is Marty McFly. He's the shyest. He doesn't really eat much from me. Let's go guys. They're in heaven. This is so fun. Oh, and it's got chia seeds, and it was also cooked with coconut oil and a little bit of grapeseed oil. I don't give them too much of the grapeseed oil. They love the coconut oil. Makes our eggs nice and healthy. Oh, here's a rooster. Here's a painted silky. You're a rooster, aren't you? Let me see that. Home of yours. Kind of hard to tell. Everyone gets along. Everyone has names. We have to do a photo shoot one of these days. Here's Glamour. He's so glamorous. Isn't that yummy, guys? Here's little Glamour Junior. Little twin of her. I see you sneaking up on me. Yes, I do, little rooster. Yeah. You being sneaky? It is nice outside today. I think it's 60 something. Gonna get nasty tomorrow with rain. It is windy. Is that yummy squirt? That neck skin. My goodness, child. He's talking. Oh, there's Arrow. He's a rooster too. Right there. How funny he is. He's a Polish. Hey! He's so pretty. Hi, Arrow. Where's that, uh, Janet? Oh, there's Janet Jackson. She's like a little road runner. She's running back. Here we 
very curious. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is going on on the farm. Hi, Rico. You doing some training? What? Oh, what show? There was a show? Because he was scared? No, they're just, I don't know. Just Jet was trying to hurt him up. Oh, Jet was hurting him up. trying to hurt him up? What you? You're like, what's going on with my hurting? Oh, they look a little jumpy today. Yeah, I think it's the weather. I think so too. I think it's the universe. It's windy, a little dark. Oh, there's Gino, getting a drink. Got his flea medicine today. It's probably gonna be a little extra thirsty. Are you a little extra thirsty? Look how big you are, boy. My goodness. Got the guineas back there making noise. Beans is over there hanging out. Who else we got? Oh, there's Pablo. You getting a brushing? That feel good. Are they having you wear pink today? Hi, Jet. Hi. Oh my gosh, you're so funny. This is a great Christmas break, isn't it? We're just hanging outside. Oh my goodness. I am going to take in all of this weather. Where's all our other kitties? Cricket. Cricket, I need to call and get her appointment in. She is getting spayed soon. Oh, there's Cricket. Hi. So we got Gino. He's got the blue collar. It's kind of hard to tell. I want to get him a different color next time. Where is that color? Oh, here's my Jenny. Oh, my Jenny's coming to say hi. Hi, Jenny. What do you think? Hi, Jen. All right, so the kids, they redid the tack room. Got some organization done. Got our little kitty boxes. Guinea pigs are not in here during the winter months. got some some dirt something something we haven't really been adding a whole lot to it but it's getting there the cows were over here a couple days ago don't even think about it nugget i see you you sneaky little thing so he keeps to himself this rooster but he will try to challenge us. He's a little one. He's a little guy. And then we have this tree. Right there, I think, is what's called. Let me see that. Is that bark? I think that's the Osage orange tree. It's got this fruit that drops. Looks like this right here. 
So this is an Osage orange. They've got different names for it. Some people call it a monkey brain fruit because it looks like a monkey brain. Uh, I think one person said they call it an, a horse apple, even though the horses don't eat it. This is not edible. It's very uh, sticky. So you can't really see. These drop down in September, but it's got like a sticky glue inside. So the fascinating thing about this tree, guys, is it is so old. It is a Native American tree. The fruit is called the Osage Orange because of the Osage Native Americans. They were called the Osage Indians. And literally, those Indians were here in 700 BC. A lot of these Native Americans, of course, were pushed out. You see a lot of this in Texas because they were forced out of the Great Plains. They ended up coming more to Texas, Arkansas, and such. So basically, it's an unedible fruit. The wood was made for uh, using for bows for the Native Americans. So it's super special to us. I know that some people do use the seed of that fruit. I'm gonna check into it more next summer. We are trying to put all the puzzle pieces together and I will make a video on that, guys, about this property. We have lots of Native American spiritual energy and lots of things have happened. I'll definitely put that story for you together. It's super cool. We embrace it. It's nothing evil. It's so amazingly beautiful to us. We love Native Americans and their history and their culture and what they have brought to this world. The ones that started so much that we now get to enjoy. You know, we are animal lovers. As you can see, it's just so beautiful. We take in all of this nature because we are able to see it all. We're awakened. Our spirits and our hearts are just so able to see what this property has. So that is a fun video that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you what we've seen. We've had some Native American spirits show up, harmless, peaceful Native American spirits that were there to give us guidance, literally saw it before my eyes. And now after seeing that we had the Osage trees, I looked it up and the Osage Indians is exactly what I saw. They have a very different look. Can't wait to make that video. As you can see, the crew is munching away on their hay. It has not rained yet. We, at some point we'll get a hay feeder. That way it all kind of stays in a nice pretty little round bale of hay. But for now, we are good. So we know all about these homestead projects and what people use. We're choosing it to do it from the beginner stage and exceed to go further each year We'll spend more money on more items, but for now, we just make it work. Alyssa is taking the pitchfork. We've been using this hay for the chicken coop. So we have been taking little by little, using it for different things. The price was so great that we get to use it for the whole uh, homestead. And we did have a tarp on here last night, just in case it sprinkled. It said it might have a light sprinkle. We took it off so that they can eat the hay today. And um, it is supposed to rain tomorrow. So most of this will get put away so that it stays nice and dry. We're doing lots of chores here on the farm while we have the week off of school. We got lots of poop to pick up, that's for sure. Lots of horse manure. We can put it in our compost. 
go see if we have any eggs. Here's an egg. I'm gonna go help Alyssa. Get some more hay. It's great exercise. So we love just learning on our own and doing things as we go. Of course, we do all of our research all the time. I have been learning about farm life for the last 20 years because I knew that this was going to be my life someday. And I fully embrace every single day being here. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment below, hit that notification bell, and we will see you soon.